Hi guys, this is Jolt. In today's video, we are going to check out the Parkside cordless vehicle impact wrench from Lidl. Um, yeah, it has, as usual, a very funky name. It's PASSK20LIA1. It comes with a regular 20 volt battery, uh, like the other Parkside products. So the batteries are interchangeable. Um, when you buy these kind of products in Lidl, make sure that the cable tie is on it. Otherwise, there might be some parts missing from. Anyway, uh, without any further ado, let's just open it up and check what is inside. As usual, it came with a bit of the rainforest, also the charger, four sockets, which I'm never going to use because I have got some uh, much better ones, and the machine itself and the battery. I've seen other tests earlier on, and based on those ones, I can tell you that this one on papers is a 400 Newton meters uh, wrench, which is, of course, far from truth. What you need to do is you set it to 400 to remove the screws and you set it to 300 to fasten the screws. And that way um, you have something at like 120 something Newton meters of torque. So yeah, it's not even close to what is on papers, but it, it will do the trick. These are going to be the sockets I will use. It is also from Parkside, the PSS3A1. For the focus, I will need the 19 mils. Okay, it is not the lightest, it has some weight to it. Most likely the battery also has a generous amount of weight. I will remove it in a mode just to see how is it. And it also has a light. And of course, you can change the directions to unscrew and screw or forward, backward. And it has also a belt attachment. Without the battery, it has some generous weight to it. So hopefully it means it has some proper material within. It comes with the 4000 uh, milliampere hours battery, um, not the 2000. And also, of course, the 4000 is twice the size of the 2000. However, it's rather light. I put it on the charger and for a couple of seconds it went red, but now again it shows green. So it looks like the battery is fully charged. Okay, you can set up the strength or the power with this orange button with the newton meter written on it, but you need to forget about it. It's nothing to do with the newton meters. Or the torque um, let's just call it like a, a power setting not a newton meter or torque setting and also it goes in one direction only so like that way and of course if you want to set it up to a certain volume and you went over then you have to go around of course it started to rain when i want to um, replace or exchange or switch the tires or swap the tires or wheels 
for the winter ones. But hey, what's a little bit of water? So let's go ahead. I'm going to keep a bit of a distance um, because the phone is uh, waterproof to a certain level, but none of the other equipments connected to are waterproof. I wanted to record it from closer up, but it won't really make much of a difference.
Now I'm just going to fasten the screws with the Extol Premium um, Torque Wrench. I hope I said it correctly, but anyway. And um, yeah, I set it up to 130 Newton meters. Okay, that was one. I have another three to go, but I'm not going to record those ones. I'm going to do exactly the same way. Alrighty, so that was little park side um, wireless or cordless impact wrench. It did the job as I expected. On the 400 setting, it removed all the screws in no time. On 300 setting, it fastened the screws nicely up to 120 something um, newton meter. I just had to use the extol um, torque wrench and. Uh, I had to fasten it with that one up to 130 newton meters, but again, I just had to do a little bit of job with it. So honestly, I'm I'm super happy with it. The battery is almost full. For home use, for a DIY, I would say it is perfect. It will do the trick. It's cheap. It comes with three years warranty. What else you need? Anyway, that was it about this video. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and press the notification bell so you're not going to miss any of my upcoming videos. I'd like to say a big thank you for your time and catch you on the next one. Bye-bye.